this point. And if I can say that at six days out, like I feel like that's that's a huge victory. And so regardless of the outcome of this show, I think I've learned enough about this process and about myself. I've grown both as a competitor and also as a coach during the process, learning how better to coach myself, et cetera. Like I feel very, um, I feel very accomplished. Hey everybody, what's up? Darren Starr here. We have made it. It is peak week for my show, Battle of the River, June 8th, 2024, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Let's talk about it. It's been uh, it's been a wild ride. If you've been following along, then you know what's up. I'm not going to bother to recap everything. We're going to kind of blaze through this pretty quickly because between you and me, I'm a little tired. I'm kind of over it. I'm kind of ready for this to be done. So a big, big recap, like the, the big picture story for right now is that uh, I... Uh, I really feel like I could use another week, but I don't want another week. Like if there was a show a week after this one that was a viable option, that would be a much better option. I still don't think I would do it just because mentally I'm kind of done and I'm ready for this whole process to be over. You know, my goal last week was to get kind of get things kind of recentered and kind of back to some kind of stable spot. And I think we're there right now. Um, it's just uh, lost some time. And so while things feel better. They don't necessarily look better. So let's just dive in on that. We'll start with how things are feeling overall. So how do things feel? Well, generally speaking, better than last week. Um, energy is low. Performance in the gym isn't great. I'm tired all the time. Still not sleeping consistently well. I had one to two nights this week that were okay-ish. Again, sleep is usually something that I do not struggle with at all. So when I'm up every hour on the hour, um, you know, my goal this morning was to sleep in a little bit. I'm today being Sunday, and uh, I get to the point where you know I wake up for the millionth time, and it's 4:30, which is when I typically would wake up. I'm just like, fine, good. Let, let me get up. Let me put this nightmare to bed. <laughs> You know what I mean? Um, and just get up and I got stuff to do anyway. So let's just get up and do it. So I got up, did stuff for a few hours, ate, went and took a nap. Been napping all week long between 20 and 60 minutes at a time, oftentimes more than once a day to try and catch up for that. I can nap like a pro. I just can't sleep at night. Stomach is kind of like a little bit better. It still doesn't feel tight. Like I feel like things are moving well. Um, just the, the lower abdominal section still feels distended. So um, it's something that I'm still watching and monitoring there. I am tired and I think part of it is just, you know, I'm 21 weeks into a 22 week prep right now. I'm six days out, five days by the time that this will be posted. So some of that's to be expected. Um, training performance is definitely, it's gone down. And I think a lot of that is just because of the interruption and having to travel back and forth. I wasn't able to maintain tracking or progressive overload due to different gyms. Um, so I was in a really good groove at five weeks out. And then once my travel started, I started leaving my logbook at home as it was in the wrong bag. I'd forget to bring it. And so my workouts are changing all over the place. I'm kind of improvising things and just doing different stuff. Terrible strategy. Um, so that was bad planning on my part, bad execution. Um, but definitely the whole process got interrupted and that was a problem. So, um, there's more to talk about and how things look in the numbers, uh, which are the things that we're going to focus on for this week. Um, how things feel, they're coming around. They're coming around. Um, I did, uh, I have been trying everything for sleep, been trying hydroxyzine, I've been trying CBD, I've been trying Benadryl. Um, today I just picked up some Unisom and some melatonin, so we're going to try that and just see if I can get something to knock me out. I've been taking this sleep uh, supplement formula, it's a powdered thing called sleep. Um, doesn't seem to be working at all. Um, the thing about those things that mix in water is you do pretty much guarantee that you're going to have to wake up to pee. Um, by chugging down six ounces of that stuff before bed. So it seems a little counterproductive, um, but it's also, it doesn't seem to be improving sleep quality all either. So um, that's how things feel in a nutshell. I wish, I would love to be at a point here where I would just say, man, I'm really tired. Uh, there's just a lot more than that. Things are kind of getting back to where they need to be. But again, I don't want that to be the case going into peak week. I would have loved for that to be the case two or three weeks ago. So still kind of scrambling a little bit and micromanaging some things. Let's take a look though at how things look. Here's this morning's video. Um, I was going to, uh, I, I planned my whole morning out around the 
gym's group fitness room schedule, which is viewable through the app. Um, and so I knew if I got there after 11, the 10 o'clock class would be over and um, there was nothing else in there until three, except there was when I got there. There was some group dance class or something that wasn't on the schedule that was in there with like 20 people. So um, I was planning on doing some posing before cardio, didn't get a chance to do that. So this video is the only one we have. I really wanted to compare um, you know, like do a little bit of a pump up routine, even for just five or seven minutes, um, and compare that versus the fasted stuff today. So that didn't happen. Um, I will do that at some point this week and we'll see how things look then. Um, right now I'm looking at this. It just didn't feel impressive. It didn't look impressive. This is also cold. I did not do any kind of a pump. I will be taking photos and videos, um, pretty much daily in the morning. Um, and probably a couple times throughout the day going forward. And I'm going to, um, focus on trying to get a little bit of a pump before then, which is going to help kind of inform, um, how I want to handle carbs this week. So um, that's pretty much it for how things look. Uh, we have a lot to dig into on the numbers though, so let's get there. Okay, weekly numbers, there's a lot. And I'm just going to show you the detailed tracker here, which might make sense to put this full screen. I don't know. Uh, there's a lot here. So you can see um, I have how many days out we are. We're up to, you know, I have five days out listed, just no data because as the time I'm recording this, that's tomorrow. Um, the date, um, the next uh, column is the overnight drop from the previous evening. Um, and then my fasted weight, what time it was. And um, then I have uh, a blank column for notes and then macros for the next meal, when that was, weight after that meal, when that was, notes, et cetera. You can see my lift is listed in there. Um, so the timing is pretty consistent overall. You know, everything's within an hour for the most part. That first meal is within a 30 minute window. Um, one thing I did realize is that I wasn't tracking or being very diligent about my water intake. So on Saturday, Friday, Friday, I started doing that and just making sure I got in 24 ounces in between every meal, which puts me a little over a gallon. It's definitely an increase. Like I was, wasn't paying attention to it. And so now that I am, I'm like, man, my water was tragically low. So that's part of the issue. So I've, I've gotten that sorted out. Um, and so that feels better. I think that's actually helping with digestion and keeping things moving a little bit as well. So that's one of those things where if a client came to me and said that they were struggling with, you know, regularity, I'd be like, how's your water intake? Did I think to ask that of myself? No, it took me a week and a half to get there. So this is another, another way in which coaching yourself is difficult. You always start looking past the obvious things for the other things. So, um, so you can kind of see if you track this, like how things undulate throughout the day. I believe yesterday was the first day where I stayed under the cap all day long. Went to bed at 208.6 after full macros. No, sorry, 209.2 is where I went to bed. So other than that, um, I just know that I need to do my check-in um, on Friday at about 4 or 5. Um, and so I need to be under 209 at that point. It looks like we'll be okay. Today, um, the weigh in here after meal three was at 209.2, um, even though I woke up at 202.8, which is a prep low by a mile for me, um, just because my timing was off today. Um, so I had a couple of meals kind of back to back um, that impacted that a little bit. So um, the, the goal here going forward this week is going to be to really regulate this as much as possible. Um, we're going to continue to treat the next few days as normal. Um, this is kind of getting into peak week plans going forward. Um, treat the next few days as normal. I have legs scheduled for tomorrow. I will do a push workout on Tuesday, a pull workout on Wednesday, a full upper body pump session on Thursday. Friday will be off. Uh, probably won't touch any extra carbs until Thursday. Water will not be manipulated at all. It, I may pull it down a little bit on show day. Just depends on how things feel. Uh, but the thing to keep in mind is you're trying to peak. Like you're not trying to rescue or save anything here or any miracles. Like, you know, at this point, you know, give, with maybe a couple more days, I'm as lean as I'm going to get. So I will start scaling cardio down just a little bit here, um, probably after Tuesday. So Wednesday, we'll start to taper that down a little bit just to get the legs a little bit more rested. Wednesday, I also have a deep tissue massage scheduled, which I'm going to have um, them focus on the legs for that. So Wednesday makes sense. Like, okay, let's, let's do some cardio on Wednesday and then we'll largely just chill on Thursday and Friday and hope that that's enough recovery time. We'll bring in some carbs on Thursday and Friday. That should be enough. Um, I mean, I should easily be able to get in enough on those two days. The goal is going to be to make sure that I still don't have issues where I blow up with enough glycogen and I'm starting to bump into the cap again. So my goal is going to be to see if by Wednesday I can get down closer like 201 for a fasted weight, which would give me plenty of room to play with and then I won't really have to worry about that. So that's the target for right now. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm unsure how I'm going to handle this week as far as 
updates. Um, I feel like having some kind of a daily update might make sense. You might want to check me out on Instagram at Darren underscore star for those updates. I think that makes more sense than YouTube realistically. Um, and uh, I haven't been posting much on there. I've been kind of uh, been a social media ghost lately, trying to stay out of my own head a little bit, not watch stuff. So I've been slow to respond to messages, clients who are hitting me up there. Sorry, you know my email address. That's a better way to get a hold of me anyway. <laughs> so it's uh it's been, it's been a trick, guys. I got to tell you, this is my first experience coaching myself since 2012, um, and that did not go well. Uh, this, is, this has gone better. I think realistically it would have been a pretty good experience and definitely a good learning experience if not for the, the mess of the last few weeks. So um, no regrets. No regrets. Would I do it again? Yeah, but not for a bit. <laughs> I need a break. I'm looking forward to... Um, but people are asking me like, what, what's the one thing you're looking forward to eating? I'm like, honestly, I'm looking forward to just being able to walk in the kitchen and just grab something and eat it without worrying about it. Like, that's what I want. I don't even care what it is. Like, it's not like, oh, I really want this. Po I'm thinking post-show, what do I want to do? Well, we're driving down to Chattanooga on Friday with the dogs. Um, my wife has a baby shower that she's going to um, during the first part of the day down in Atlanta. Actually, it was just scheduled on the same day. So she's going to drop me off at prejudging and head down to Atlanta. After prejudging's over, I'm going to catch an Uber back to the Airbnb, hang out with the dogs, probably do a little bit of work, some video editing, relax, feed up, that kind of stuff. Um, and then she'll be back. We'll go to finals. We'll do that. And then after finals, probably go back to the Airbnb and have something delivered. I don't even care what really, it doesn't really matter. Like it, I'm, I'm not really all that hungry. I don't have super strong cravings for anything. It's just, I would like to have the freedom to just eat something that's untracked and not have to worry about it. It could just be like two or 300 calories. I don't even care. It's like, again, I don't feel like I'm dying as far as hunger is concerned, which is kind of weird because usually I am. And so this whole thing, like we've talked about before with like me kind of conquering the binge eating thing up until, you know, a week and a half ago, whenever that was, um, this is further evidence of that, like big picture. I don't feel like I really have a problem there. There was that one episode, but other than that, like I feel very much in control. I would very much like to just eat some other stuff, but you know. I, I can, I feel like I can be very moderate about that at this point. And if I can say that at six days out, like, I feel like that's, that's a huge victory. And so regardless of the outcome of this show, I think I've learned enough about this process and about myself. I've grown, um, both as a competitor and also as a coach during the process, learning how better to coach myself, et cetera. Like I feel very, um, I feel very accomplished actually. Again, regardless of, of how this whole thing turns out, um, dealing with challenges, handling them reasonably well, not perfect, um, but continuing to largely put one foot in front of the other, make some mistakes, shrug it off, don't beat yourself up, keep on moving. That's the way to do it. So there is that slight possibility that after this show, um, Junior Nationals is also in Chattanooga like 10 or 11 days later. Um, if I were to qualify for that, it's certainly a possibility that it might happen. There's just a lot of things that would have to go right in order for that to happen. So I'm not totally, totally opposed to the idea or the possibility that that could, could happen. Um, but the situation with my mom is still very much up in the air. So there could be a return trip back to Oregon that has to happen before then, which means that that show just isn't a possibility. There's also the very real possibility, if not the likelihood, that I will not qualify. Um, realistically, I'm, I'm trying not to be too self-deprecating here, but I just understand the level of competition in these open classes. Um, if I qualify, meaning if I get a top two spot, it's probably because it's a relatively weak class. So, um, which could happen. And honestly, like in a vacuum, if I qualify through a weak class, I would still do the show. I would still do the national show just for the experience of doing it. Go get my ass kicked. That's fine. Um, it'd still be a good experience. Um, but... I'm just, the thing is, it's not in a vacuum. You know, there's other things that have to be considered as well. So what I would like to do is immediately post-show, if that were to happen, if I do earn a qualification, 
um, is make choices such that I leave options open for myself if that were to happen rather than be like, okay, show's over. Cool. Let's blow it out Saturday night, all day, Sunday and Monday, and then we'll clean it up on Tuesday. Like you can't do that if you're planning on doing another show in 11 days. Like you get your one meal off and then Sunday it's back on plan. Um, that would be the goal. So that's kind of my target right now. We'll see how it goes. So again, follow me on Instagram, pay attention to what's going on there. Those updates are going to come a little bit faster this week. I'm going to try and post something daily, even if it's just me talking in the car as I'm going to the gym or something like that. Just some kind of an update, some kind of a status update there. Um, it's just a little bit more easy to do it there than on YouTube. So check me out there. I, I thank you guys very much for following along for this whole process. We will be back next week with a recap of what went down here. So this is not the end. And then after that, who knows? That might be the end or might continue this into the off season. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but again, thank you everybody for watching this, for tuning in. I really appreciate it. it means everything to me. Your support means a lot to me as well. So um, from the bottom of my heart, thank you.